All right, what up, YouTube? This is Vaughn. Back at you with another one, you feel me? Um, today's topic is going to be about fitness and or physical exercise, both, you know, and how it relates to mental health and cognitive functions. Uh, this video meant a lot to me because I've been going through a lot of anxiety and depression over the last few months, or really 2020. Uh, and so I'm using, I'm using exercise as a way for me to cope with everything I'm dealing with. And I have my son, Kyrie, here. He wants to say hi, Kyrie. Hi. Uh, <laughs> he's actually gonna do some of the exercises with me because I'm showing him how to stay fit as well. So yeah, he's gonna do, we're gonna do some father-son exercises. Um, yeah, that's how it's gonna go. Yeah. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll try to give a little information on what I'm doing. Today's just gonna be more about me moving, um, how, I clear, how I clear my head. All right, so stay tuned. Run, run, run. <laughs> All right, keep going. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Just play, just play. Daddy just watching. No, 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 no. Maverick like, no. Nah. I just did was pretty much just a uh, unilateral lunge or yeah um, it was a unilateral lunge had Kyrie on my back kid weigh about 48 pounds or something like that um, and so yeah when I put my hands up to hold him what that did was engage my uh, my core a little more and uh, had my abs and my lats and my back um, stabilizing a lot more see when you keep your hands by your side then your abs work less hard but when you throw your arms up and increase the leverage arm then your body goes uh goes off balance and so your core has to work a little harder to keep you engaged um so i did that with him on my back just for added weight um and to give him a little thrill too <sighs> yeah that's pretty good um uh, same thing with the squats squats is a bilateral exercise so you work both sides at once um but the same deal when you put your hands up higher either shoulder length like this or above the shoulder the higher you go up Increases the intensity and the uh, um, imbalance. Uh, yeah, so 
I put my arm up shoulder length to engage my core a lot more, okay, to make it more of a full body exercise. So a big benefit to, to fitness in relation to cognitive health is that when you work out, you release a lot of endorphins. Um, endorphins are hormones that uh, gives you a sense of joy and um, satisfaction. And so that helps relieve anxiety and helps combat depression as well. So uh, it's good to, to keep moving and, and, and getting those endorphins running through your body. Uh, so that's one way to, to work out and, and help with mental health. Um, as well as you working on your physique, you work on your body, and so your body image change, um, the way you feel about yourself change, your confidence and your appearance change, and that also helps with your morale and your, um, your the way you view yourself in the world. So, yeah, those two things right there. So typically, typically for my exercises, when doing strength training, I would do about three to four sets. Uh, lately, I've been training for strength endurance, so I'll try to get about 12 to 15 reps in um, each set. And yeah, keep it pretty simple like that. Um, Sometimes I'll superset exercises if I'm trying to like burn more weight, which I actually should be doing now, but I'm keeping it simple. You know, it's real nice to have my son here with me working out um, or just in his presence, period. That, uh, for me, also helps with my, my depression and anxiety. When he's here, I get a sense of comfort um, and joy. And all the problems that I feel go away for that second when I see him rush towards me or smile around me, playing around in the camera or at the playground. So these two together, having physical exercise, and my child with me. Yeah, it's really been great tools for me to cope with the depression I've been dealing with from all of what came with 2020. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of how this is going. That's kind of how this is going, you know? kid bailed on me you know he didn't want to do all the strength training he just want to run around burn calories i feel him on that so i'm gonna let him do his thing for me for calorie burning i'm gonna do maybe some burpees or something like that uh, mountain climbers really some high intensity exercises after i do a little strength training the kid calling me one second So remember earlier in the intro of this video when I mentioned that exercise or physical activity helps with cognitive functions and, and um, mental health? Well, the difference between exercise and physical activity is exercise is more programmed, okay? Exercise is normally repetitive. It's normally you do sets and reps of a certain exercise to attain, attain a certain um, uh, goal right or outcome physical activity however is just anything that, in that involves you exerting your body or, or using energy okay it doesn't have to be anything complex walking is a physical activity uh, me being at this park the playground my son is a physical activity because you see as y'all see I push him on a swing um, just me being active and mobile is physical right and that's a physical activity uh, and both helps with with uh, anxiety depression uh, and cognitive function. Um, it both stimulates the body and stimulates the brain and it distracts you from what's going on. At the same time, helping you burn calories and, and, and getting the, the, the proper uh, results you want.
All right, let them know. Definitely make sure to hydrate, right? Definitely. All day long. Drink that water, baby. I gotta get some. <laughs> so I mentioned in my last video that um, I was looking for a community and, and suggestions on how I can deal with mental depression. All I know is fitness. Um, but I've been getting tips from people. I need to find a community, they say. I need a circle of friends around me who, who understand what I need, who, who could be there for me. So, yeah, this video today was really important for me. Um, you know, even though it was just a fun and lighthearted video, it was really just me having fun with my son at a park. I mean, just burning a little bit of energy, getting my mind clear. Still was very important for me to do this, have this type of fun and activity with a little one right behind me. Hey, Kari, you gotta pee? Oh, uh, we gotta go, guys. All right, well, let's tell the YouTube bye. 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 Okay, let's say we see you later, right? Please comment about anything that you would like to see in further videos pertaining to fitness or mental health, as well as family. Still love travel. Um, and yeah, we're out of here, man. Peace, that's all we got. Peace, man, we're going to the restroom. Kyrie, how'd you feel about the exercise? I know. Did you like it? No? Why yeah. not? You didn't like when daddy picked you up? Huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. 